and I am the in charge of this virtual world tour. Good evening, ma'am. And I am also the admission officer at Air Cruise Aviation Private Limited. So, hello. Oh, ma'am, when are you going to start the class? Uh, admin, can we mute people here? So, hello to all. A warm welcome to all the guests for today's virtual world tour event. So, I hope all flying guests are following the guidelines and you all have kept the handy stuff with you. So, it's my pleasure to welcome you all abroad flight passengers with service to Australia. Federal regulations require that carry-on items are stored prior to closing the aircraft door. Your handy items may be placed in side compartments. Let us know if we may assist you. So, in order to expedite the boarding process, please be seated as quickly as possible. So, for today, the pilot for this journey or the speaker who will be taking us to country Australia is Ms. Donia Elizabeth. She is our marketing, she is the manager marketing and also the quiz in charge at Air Cruise Aviation Private Limited. She is the presenter or pilot who will be taking us to country Australia today. And our co-pilot is Ms. Manbir Kaur. Ms. Manbir Kaur is our aerospace engineer at Air Cruise Aviation Private Limited. She is working on an excellent project known as Visume, that is video resume. So I also like to thank Shruti, who is uh, in charge for this event along with me and other team members, Rashleen, Indrani, Roshni for their support and help for this event. I also like to convey my heartfelt thank to guidebylocal.com in association with alphatravelblog.com and many more organizations and many IIMs and special thanks to IIM Sirmar and IIM Sambalpur students. So let me take this liberty to welcome our sweet and beautiful speaker for today, Ms. Donia Elizabeth and our co-speaker, Ms. Manbir Kaur, who will be taking us to country Australia. So welcome Donia and Manbir to this virtual world tour event. Over to you, Donia. Um, thank you, thank you so much, Dr. Julie. Okay, so I will be taking over from here. As, you, as Dr. Julie mentioned, this is Donia here and I will be your tour guide for Australia. Now, before we start, there are certain guidelines that everyone should adhere to. That is, all of your mics must be on mute throughout. And if you have any queries, you can always raise your hand. You can always raise your hand in Zoom. And I can call out your name and you can ask your query. Yes, Nesa. Ma'am, my father is a... My father is a travel manager and he works in Cox and Kings. Oh, that's great, Nesa. Okay, so we will start. We'll start now. And uh, before we start, uh, I think there was a task assigned to everyone, right? And who can tell me what is the capital of Australia? You can put it in the chat or raise your hand. Yes, Sudarshan. Canberra. Right. Anyone else? Canberra. Canberra. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. Great, great. Canberra. Great, great, great. Okay, now mic's on mute. Now I'm going to share my screen. Let us travel to Australia now. Okay, so um, as you already might be knowing, Australia is a country as well as a continent. So if you see all the continents in, in the world, Australia is the smallest of them. 
but since the entire continent is one country it is is it is the world's biggest island and one of the largest countries on earth okay now if you see just like india has a lot of states like madhya pradesh andhra pradesh and uh, maharashtra uttar pradesh exactly like that australia also has different states so if you see this is western australia then northern territory then there is queensland south australia new south wales victoria and tasmania how many states how many territories or states are there are there six is there six or seven seven seven, seven right seven. Seven. there are yes seven. so there are seven. yes yes now seven. i'm on mute yeah so there are seven states now when you hear about uh, australia what what comes to your mind like animals anyone kangaroo kangaroo yes kangaroo, kangaroo and the koala bear koala. so this right right the and kangaroo and the koala bear are the are the main uh, main animals in australia so uh, australia is actually blessed with a lot of indigenous animals and birds out of which we will mainly look into koala bears and kangaroos so, so uh, if you look at kangaroos uh, if you look at koala bears it is it is a bear but it's not like an any normal bear it's not huge it won't bite you and it's not dangerous it's small it's very small it might be like a one year old child that much is, must be its full grown size and this bear actually eats uh, only um, plants and it's a herbivore and it is native to australia but the sad thing is that it is almost at the verge of extinction most of the bears are uh, almost are, are almost extinct and this is because of the destruction of their natural habitat and what is their natural habitat it is the forest okay and because of that it is a vulnerable species and then there is kangaroo so kangaroo is a national animal of australia and as you know kangaroo it doesn't walk it hops right so kangaroo is one of the one of the very rare animals who um, a very rare animals who hop as they are uh, all the annotated everyone is first dribbling on the screen yes please no one should annotate on the screen please yeah so kangaroos their feet because they jump and walk their feet are very strong and their joints are very strong and if you if maybe some uh, six or seven of you lay down on the ground in a straight line a kangaroo can leap over all of you without without hitting anyone it's that it's that fast and it it has that much power to jump that high as well now let us look at the flag of australia so um actually australia falls under a few countries which uh, fall under commonwealth countries and these countries are ruled by the british so um, this star that you can see over here is the uh, is the symbol of that it is the commonwealth star and this part over here this is the uk flag okay and these stars that you can see over here this is the this is a, this represents the southern cross constellation so in at night when you look at the sky you can see a lot of stars in the sky right so these stars they form patterns which are called constellations and from australia when you look at the sky you can see this constellation called southern cross constellation and that is the reason why this is there in the uh, in the flag of australia okay now just a small uh, brief history about australia it was around 50000 to 60000 years ago that australia was discovered itself and that is through people who traveled through sea they came to australia and they started living there but in about 1788 what happened is a lot of british people came in and then like how they came to india and started ruling over they went to uh, australia and started ruling over okay and then they established six colonies but towards 19 the 19 1900s what happened is all six colonies decided i am not going to stay under british rule i want to uh, i want to create my own country and then they came up they united and formed australia that's how australia came into existence now let's see the land size of australia so australia is 7.692 million square kilometer do you know what the land size of india is 
it is about 3.2 million square kilometer which actually means two india or more than two india can fit inside australia it's that big now as all of you said the capital of the country is canberra and the largest city the largest city in australia is brisbane now the language spoken so uh, australia also speaks english but as like in india we have an accent so it's called indian english or america in it's called american english because there are small uh, deviations in actual english like that in australia also they speak english but there is a variation and that is called australian english clear till now yes ma'am yes okay now let's let's uh, briefly look at the government that is there in australia okay so um, usually you find a land who who is ruled by a king and a queen and then there are lands like india who are ruled by president and prime minister where the elections happen so australia actually has both it's very interesting because australia has a queen it is ruled by uh, the queen elizabeth of britain but at the same time they have a prime minister who is elected so uh, this is the prime minister of australia her his name is scott john morrison now the number of people living in australia is just just 25.79 million whereas in india it is about 1.3 billion people so you can see how compared to the area very little people only stay there and the currency here is the australian dollar okay uh and australian football is a national sport national sport of australia so uh here uh, this is not the normal football that you play here with that is that is called soccer and a uh, football is something that you play both with your hands and your leg yes tanvi okay Okay, now let's look at the climate of Australia. Okay, so this is also very interesting because Australia is a big land, right? There is, it's it's huge, so it falls under different climatic conditions. In the north, it is like the south of India, where it is, it it rains very well. It is forest, and there is, it's not too cold, it's not too hot. But when you come a little bit down into the center of Australia, it is a desert area, and even even down. please mute your mic yeah so when you come even down you uh, you can see that it is more antarctic uh, antarctic type climate yes ma'am what's that light blue thing in the middle this light blue thing this is cold air cold air this is cold and this is hot okay ma'am may i ask something uh yes please Ma'am, I want to ask that one uh, one dollar is equals to how much in Indian rupee? So that is actually a task for all of you. I was about to put it in the end. Okay, one Australian dollar is how much Indian rupee? Ma'am, can I ask? Seventy-eight. Sorry. Seventy-two. You sure? Uh, wait, wait. We'll take this question. Yes. स्ट्रॉंग Not like right. people. Right. Five people is equal to one kangaroo, and kangaroo kicks a person. Two persons, they will fall off. Right, right. They are very, they are very strong. Their legs are very strong because they have to live on their legs. That's very right. What you told. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So moving on. Please don't annotate. Please, who is Amita? Please don't annotate. And I want to ask something. You have an option to disable annotation. You won't get them disturbed. Yes, ma'am. 
मैम वन डॉलर इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी सिक्स ओके ओके सो आई एम मूविंग ऑन एंड आफ्टर द क्लाइमेट वी कैन जस्ट सी अ स्मॉल वीडियो on different places and different uh, landmarks in australia okay which will be very interesting give me one second i'll share that screen you can see the screen right yes ma'am okay now everyone yes, go on mute i will everyone yes, please go on yes, mute ma yes ma'am yes ma'am okay The land of dreams, the world's smallest continent and largest island. This vast country is vibrant, multicultural, and full of spectacular scenery. Welcome to Australia. Join us as we discover the land down under. Misc Travel Guide brings you the ultimate travel guide to Australia. More than most other developed countries, Australia seizes the imagination. For most visitors, its name is shorthand for an endless summer where the living is easy, a place where the adventures are as vast as the horizons, and the jokes flow as freely as the beer, a country of can-do spirit and easy friendliness. No wonder Australians call theirs the lucky country. Australia is a land of staggering contrasts and spectacular beauty. Along the coast, you can explore vibrant multicultural cities, vast sand islands, ancient rainforests, and one of the planet's most awe-inspiring natural wonders, the Great Barrier Reef. In the outback, rugged national parks and red earth deserts offer the ultimate in adventure travel. Top it all off with a laid-back feel and friendly people, and it's no wonder Australia scores top billing on bucket lists around the world. Sydney Opera House. Mention Sydney, Australia, and most people think of the Opera House. Shaped like huge shells or billowing sails, this famous building on Sydney's Bennelong Point graces the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites and is one of the world's greatest architectural icons. Designed by Danish architect Jorn Utzon, this World Heritage listed building is Australia's most famous landmark. A 2004 renovation added walls of glass to the reception hall, offering visitors views of the harbor. In addition to the 1,500-seat opera house, the center features a concert hall and three other theaters, as well as multiple bars and restaurants. The Sydney Opera House welcomes millions of visitors from all over the world every year. Sydney Harbour Bridge. The iconic Sydney Harbour Bridge is both the main method of crossing the harbour and a travel destination for adventurous visitors. Rising 134 meters above the harbour, the bridge spans 500 meters, connecting Sydney's north shore to the central business district. It was completed in 1932, 40 years before the Sydney Opera House. Affectionately called the coat hanger, this impressive feat of construction is one of the largest steel arc bridges in the world. One of the top things to do in Sydney is a guided ascent to the top of the bridge, where you can enjoy spectacular views over the harbour and city.
Great Ocean Road. Most top tourist destinations have spectacular driving routes, and for Australia, one of its best is the Great Ocean Road. It's Australian National Heritage listed. The road stretches for 300 kilometers along Australia's southeast coast between the Victorian cities of Torquay and Allensford. Winding through varying terrain along the coast and providing access to several prominent landmarks, including the Twelve Apostles limestone stack formations, the road is an important tourist attraction in the region. Built by returned soldiers between 1919 and 1932 and dedicated to soldiers killed during World War I, the road is the world's largest war memorial. Melbourne City Australia's second largest city is a popular stop on many Australian itineraries, especially for culture vultures. Galleries, theatres, restaurants, shops, and its distinctly European feel are the main draws of this sophisticated city on the yard. Okay, pop quiz. What is the city called? What city is this? Melbourne. 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 Okay, mute, mute, mute. I'm going to continue the video now. Melbourne. Okay. It's also a green city with parks, gardens, and open spaces occupying almost a third of its total area. Highlights of the city include the Royal Botanic Gardens, the National Gallery of Victoria, and the Melbourne Cricket Stadium. Stylish, artsy Melbourne is both dynamic and cosmopolitan, and it's proud of its place as Australia's sporting and cultural capital. Blue Mountains National Park A UNESCO World Heritage Site, beautiful Blue Mountains National Park lies 81 kilometers west of Sydney and is a popular day trip from the city. Named for the blue haze emanating from the many eucalyptus trees, this stunning park protects more than 664,000 acres of wilderness and encompasses dramatic gorges, waterfalls, aboriginal rock paintings, and 140 kilometers of hiking trails. The most famous attractions in the park are the towering sandstone rock formations called the Three Sisters. Hiking, abseiling, rock climbing, mountain biking, and horseback riding are all popular things to do in the park. Great Barrier Reef Visible from outer space, the World Heritage listed Great Barrier Reef is one of the largest living structures on the planet. In 1975, the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park was established to protect its fragile ecosystems, which include more than 3,000 coral reefs, 600 continental islands, including the beautiful Whit Sunday Group, 300 coral caves, and inshore mangrove islands. One of the seven wonders of the natural world, the park stretches for 2,300 kilometers along the state of Queensland on Australia's east coast. The astounding array of marine life includes soft and hard corals, more than 1,600 species of tropical fish, sharks, dugongs, dolphins, turtles, rays, and giant clams. Ma'am, your video is breaking. Sorry, video is? Breaking. Is it? Yes, ma'am. One second. Yes, ma'am. No, it is not, ma'am. No, it is not. The video has stopped. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'll wait one second. Yeah, yeah. Please watch. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. 
Nature takes center stage to a beautiful kangaroo island off the Flareu of South Australia. Australia's third largest island, Kangaroo Island is the perfect place to view the country's wildlife up close. More than a third of the island is a national park where thousands of wallabies, koalas, and kangaroos roam freely. Man, everyone is on the screen. And spectacular rock formations, the island's landscapes are just as impressive. Easily accessible from Adelaide in South Australia, Kangaroo Island is a can't-miss destination for nature lovers everywhere. Fraser Island World Heritage listed Fraser Island between Bundaberg and Brisbane off Australia's east coast is the largest sand island in the world and one of Australia's top outdoor adventures, especially for four-wheel drive enthusiasts. Yes, so what is this island called? What is the name of this island? Kangaroo Island. Kangaroo Island. Island is gone. This is new. This is Fraser Island. Fraser Island. Fraser Island. Fraser Island. Okay. Fraser Island. Okay. Fraser good. Good. Now mute, mute, mute everyone. I'm gonna play the video. Okay. Ma'am. Fraser Island stretches over 123 kilometers in length and 22 kilometers at its widest point. With an area of 184,000 hectares, it is the largest sand island in the world. Fraser Island is a place of exceptional beauty with its long, uninterrupted white beaches flanked by strikingly colored sand cliffs and over 100 freshwater lakes, some tea-colored and others clear and blue, all ringed by white, sandy beaches. Bondi Beach Bronzed bodies, blonde sand, backpackers, and surf, throw it all together and you get one of the world's most famous beaches. Located just minutes away from Sydney's central business district, Bondi Beach is a mile-long sweep of golden sand lined with red tile roofed homes, apartments, and green spaces. It's also a great spot for a seaside stroll or picnic, and crowds of tourists and locals gather here to celebrate Christmas and ring in the new year. A great way to soak up the sea views is to stroll along the scenic Bondi to Bronte Coastal Walk, which begins at the southern end of the beach and follows the coastline for six kilometers along sandstone cliffs. Uluru Katajuta National Park Deep in the heart of Australia's red centre, Uluru, formerly Ayers Rock, is one of the most photographed natural wonders in the country. The striking red monolith forms the centerpiece of Uluru Katajuta National Park, a world heritage area jointly managed by Parks Australia and the traditional landowners, the Ananu people. Uluru, meaning shadowy place in the local Aboriginal dialect, rises to a height of 348 meters from the surrounding plain, with most of its bulk hidden beneath the Earth's surface. Also in the park are the red dome-shaped rocks called Katajuta. As the sun dips in the sky, sightseers gather to watch the colors of Uluru and Katajuta transform in the shifting light. A great way to appreciate these sacred sites is to join a tour led by Aboriginal guides and rangers. Yes, so that was the video. Did you like it? How was the how how did Australia look in the video? Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. It, it was, was good. That is very nice, ma'am. The video yes. was amazing, ma'am. It was amazing, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Now, okay, now we'll go back to the presentation. Okay. Ma'am, the video was nice, ma'am. Yes, I'm glad all of you liked it. Okay, so now we are going to look at the food of Australia. 
Okay, so initially, in the very beginning, Australians were all hunters. So they used to go into the forest, hunt for food, and they used to eat it. So most of the original Australian food are all meat-based. So uh, shepherd's pie and hunter's pie, meat pie, these kind of foods was what uh, Australians used to consume. But later on, when Brit British, British people came to Australia, what happened is, British food also came into Australia, into Australia. So that is how sausages and um, pavlova, Tim Tams and all came. And then they became authentic to Australia itself. So uh, Tim, Tams, uh, Tim Tams are actually biscuits with caramel filling and chocolate covered. And then there is pavlova, which is also very, very similar to cheesecake. And you all must be knowing about sausages and burgers. And then there is Vegemite, which is a bread spread. Yes. Uh, the sunny side up. Yes. Finger fresh. Uh, fish. There's an echo coming from your end. Yeah, because there are two of them. Um, okay, mute one. No, then. Speaker volume also you reduce from one side. Speaker volume you reduce. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I think there's some connection issues. I'll move on. Mom? Yes. At the last, can I tell about animals? Sure. Yes. Why not? At the last of the class. Yes. Yes. yes you can. Okay. okay. Now, moving on, we'll just have a brief look into the airline industry in Australia because anyway, you will have to travel to get there, right? So, uh, Australia, it has mainly four domestic airlines, that is the Cantus Domestic, Virgin Australia, Jetstar, and Rex. Okay, so out of these, Cantus Domestic is the national airlines of Australia. So this is the flag bearer, flag carrier of Australia. Now this, uh, this airlines, they have numerous, numerous flights going international and domestic destinations, in uh, in Australia and outside internationally also, and this is the largest airline by fleet size in Australia. Now we'll just watch a small video on this airline, wherein you can see the Australian airport and all. Australian airport is very big, ma'am. Yes, yes, it is. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. Yes. And my father has 200 planes. So after the world, after yeah. work, yeah. can I show it to you? Yes, why not? Okay, so now I'll play the video. This is the airport and this is the airways, the Cantor's air, air, airways, okay? Breaks down along the dark street and a siren wails in the night that I'm all right cause I have you here with me and I can almost see through the dark there is light if you knew how happy you are making me oh I never thought I'd love anyone so much feels like home to me feels like home to me feels like i'm all the way back where i belong yes so that was the video Ma'am. Yes. Uh, on the flight, 
of contest domestic there was written name also ha huh, spirit of australia and cantus right this one yes yes right there was written so that is that is what you uh, that is the end of the presentation i think there was someone who wanted to talk about animals right can we ma yes yes go ahead ma'am that is done me ma potato bug plays 2050 million 250000 eggs oh, and it takes 5 days to hatch wow that's that's new nice that's that's good information fish thanks for sharing it with everyone thank you mama nada i have man can i show my father screen collection Ma'am, uh, why yes, so, is lightly pink? Everyone say because. Wait, wait, wait. Before that, first of all, let's just I'll just oh, um, give this over to Mandir. So next class we will be dealing with Austria, right? So she will give you two small assignments for Austria. Okay. Ma'am. One second, Mandi. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Who loves watching movies? Yes, miss. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Who loves watching movies? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, I do. Uh, okay, so I do. I also do. My favorite movie is more. My favorite movie is Frozen. Which one? Frozen two. Okay, so can you tell me two movies which are shooted in uh, Australia? No. Yeah. Anyone else? Dil chata hai. Dil chata hai. Ma'am, dil chata hai. Ma'am. Okay. Yes. I'm a kids movie. Dil chata hai. Dil chata hai, ma'am. Okay. And next one? Chak de India. Ma'am, can I get? Ma'am, A B. Good. Ma'am, Star Wars. Okay. Ma'am, A B B. Anyone else? Ma'am, Mission Impossible. Okay. Ma'am, it is shooting. Ma'am, Mission Impossible. Any? Any chocolate factory? Ma'am, A B B. Good. Ma'am, Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am. Which one? Kabi kushi kabi kum. Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, soldier. Bag me the bag. Mine is I. I say. Okay. Ma'am, the singer's king. The Matrix. Yes, yeah, singer's king. Who's the actor in Singers? Ma'am, Singers. Namaste. Who's from? Next one. Ma'am, the Matrix. Mission Kashmir. Mission Kashmir. Ma'am, Galaxy. Star Wars. Star Wars. Ma'am, Bhag Milka Bhag. Ma'am, Mission Kashmir. Ma'am, Bhag Milka Bhag. 
या भाग भर का भाग मैट्रिक्स यू नो हैज इंक्रीज अवर नॉलेज ग्राफ आई होप all the guests have enjoyed the presentation and i also like to express my heartfelt thanks to bye bye to other team members who were there for the success of this event and last but not the least i like to thank our admin for his continuous encouragement so tomorrow we will be we will see you at the same time 3 pm with uh we travel to a new country that that is austria so be prepared for the questions that donia has asked you okay so see you ma'am da 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 dong dong di 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 see you all ma'am uh, so next how was